Yesterday, our wettest day in well over a month. This morning, we're pretty much done with the rain, but we do have some fog in many areas. And uh, of course, fog is just a cloud that's low to the ground. It's got moisture in it. And so when the clouds just sit here, sometimes we get a few raindrops to develop on the camera lens. And that's exactly what we have downtown Denver right now, which is a little bit of drizzle. A quarter of an inch of rain yesterday. As I mentioned, it had been a while since we saw that much rain. In fact, 35 days. You'd have to go back to the 14th of May. That's the last time we had at least as much rain as we had yesterday. Right now, the rain that's falling in the metro area is so light, it's not even being detected by radar. We do have a few very light showers in Welp County, mainly east of Greeley. The substantial rain has now moved north of the Colorado, Wyoming, and Colorado, Nebraska state lines up near Scotts Bluff and in Cheyenne. It's raining this morning. In the wake of all that rain, we've seen plenty of visibility issues because of the fog. Centennial, your visibility is down to a, uh, less than a mile. Same thing in Parker and out at the airport. Visibility less than a mile, closer to a quarter of a mile. Once you get along I-70 out to the east of Watkins, places like Bennett and Stroudsburg. So uh, certainly be aware of some dense fog out that way this morning. Temperatures in the 50s to start the day. Later on, we'll be in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. That's the other story. It's not nearly as warm as it had, has been. We went 19 days with above normal temperatures and then finally that streak uh, stopped yesterday when we topped out at 77 so just a little bit warmer than that today southeast colorado you'll be back in the 90s mountain areas 70s 80s out west and if you're west of the continental divide forget about the chance for any additional thunderstorms today you're going to be dry most mountain areas and for the western slope for denver we should see the low clouds lift out by mid to late morning at the latest we'll have several several hours of sunshine and that will help to destabilize the atmosphere thunderstorms developing mid to late afternoon by this evening most of the storms will be east of us there is the threat for severe weather. Any storms later today could contain some large hail or damaging wind. Tomorrow down to 74 and then 73 on Wednesday with the chance for late day storms both days and then back to sunny and dry weather Thursday and Friday as we start warming it back up as we get closer to the weekend.